Myself and Philippe set up Enviable Workplace really as an online resource for companies looking to find competitive advantage in this new world of work. In 2008, I was sitting in my last grey cubicle and I got to thinking, there's got to be better places than this. The mission of Enviable Workplace is to help companies create great company culture that is going to create productive people. Our mission at Enviable Workplace is to take an intangible term like company culture and make it really tangible. What's happened is that as we've evolved as a blog, we've attracted in all sorts of niche specialists that wanted to be involved with us spreading that message. At Enviable Workplace, none of us are professional journalists. We're practitioners that take our best experiences and put them to the blog. This site is for anyone who wants to find the tools to help to create competitive advantage in their markets. I think the ROI in having an enviable workplace is twofold. It's understanding your environment and your people. So how do you collect the right people and let them stick around and keep them there? And two, how do you build the right kind of environment that inspires innovation and higher productivity? Enviable Workplace is full of great resources, great research, and really practical expertise to take into your own work environments. I think what you'll find on the site is one, we don't publish much. We just publish the best stuff we can get our hands on. And our commitment is not to make a title that makes people click and read and pass on things. It's to create articles that are actually applicable to the workforce. The differences between Andy and myself is Andy's kind of like the DJ of the site. He brings together various workplace elements that all comprise of company culture. I act as the editor, so really looking for the quality, so when there is a piece of content and you read it or consume it, you can take that and actually put it into place in your workplace. When Andy and I talk, it usually boils down to one question, and that is, within company culture, what are the problems that are coming up? And if you don't address company culture now, what kind of problems are you going to hit in the very near future?